So there have been studies done that show that elite athletes are better able to recognize patterns in the game, not only as they're playing, but also as they spectate the game from afar. So that's what we're working on here. When you understand how things unfold off of that pick and roll, you'll start to notice these things pop up in game, even without thinking, and doing it on that subconscious level. So let's get to it. So on all these, I'll pause it, and you take this time to analyze that play and make an educated guess as to what's gonna happen. So in many situations like this, you're reading this defender right here. In this case, he doesn't step over, so Sharif knows that that roll is probably open. It makes an on-point pass to get it to him as he's going downhill. Now, still reading that same defender on this play. This time they step over or rotate to stop that roll, so he hits that weak side spot up. Again, this is one of the most essential reads off the pick and roll. They started the first two games of the season with a different... So what I see here is that that low defender's eyes are away from the ball. So after this hard hedge and getting into space, unless that big down low rotates, that roll is probably going to be open because his man is out there with you. After falling 0-2, after losses to Arizona State and Boston. Sometimes we don't even have to use that screen. Defenders anticipate what's going to happen and they start rotating before you come off. So that spot up on either side of you could be open before you even use it. It should be this weak side defender rotating to stop that roll. But instead, the strong side defender leaves and then somehow falls. But either way, that strong side pass is open. So what I see here is that that roll man is sealing the initial defender. So he kind of brings him down with him as he rolls. Now that tells me that he's probably going to get an ISO or at least a one-on-one -on -one chance with that hedging big man. And that's what happens. He gets downhill and then kicks it out. Going better than any now in terms of delivery, this is a tough pass but he knows he can make it to that opposite corner and he sees how far rotated that weak side defender is. He's pretty much in the center of the paint, so he trusts that he can get this pass there in time and gets that defender closing out. So I'm not reading position as much here. It's kind of hard to tell by this freeze frame. I'm looking more at momentum and what you'll see is that initial defender is creeping up towards that screen and is probably gonna jump over it early. So he knows this, rejects that screen, and gets into space. So this right here is an interesting one. Here's one of those times again that I'm not really looking at position, but momentum. So you see that big man coming away from the bucket. So what Washington does is he backs up, and then he realizes that he can use that head of steam to blow by that slower big man. So I always tell players that they should have a feel for whether they're gonna split that screen or not before they come off of it. And you can see that perfectly right here. That big man that's coming up is way out of control, sprinting up into that hard hedge. So I think McClung kinda has that feel for what he's gonna do before he even comes off. So I think McClung is probably probing that same thing here but he realizes that split's not there, so he bounces out of it. Now, as he bounces out, that hedge defender kind of goes back with the big man, leaving his initial defender trailing him. So this makes for a pretty easy drive downhill. This is a pretty standard read. If you can shoot that three ball and a defender goes under that screen, you're likely gonna have a pretty good look at the bucket. 
opening up a 13 point advantage. Blazers trying to find. I think this is a really important one. So both defenders kind of blitz Dane. So what he does is try to get that ball out quickly to Carmelo, which ends up leaving a four on three situation since those defenders are kind of out of the play now. Sometimes these quick dump offs to let other players make that play is the best option. I know this style of video was a little bit different, but I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Basketball for a lot more like this.